Hey, and welcome to Tech Tips with Soldo Media. I'm Amanda. And I'm Linus. Glad you're with us today. All yeah. right, again, what travel are we doing tripods. Today? What are we doing? Travel tripods. Yes. I almost bought another another one, but this is the last one in the travel tripod series, yes. I think. Yeah I, don't th yeah, I think we're going to have to go bigger stuff after this. I have to say, unless we do the Peak Design tripod, mm. but there are reasons why we haven't tested the Peak Design tripod, price being one of the biggest ones. All of the tripods we've tested run in around the $150 to $200 range, Yeah, really. Uh, whereas the Peak Design comes in either at 300 bucks, I think, for the aluminum mm. and 500 bucks for the, for carbon. the carbon fiber yeah. one. Yeah. So just in terms of price range, it's out of this competition. Yeah, exactly. But, but again, we want to help you to be able to find the best stuff. So what we have today, yeah. the Manfrotto Elements M2, nice. Mark II, and uh, it, it's quite a nice little tripod, actually. Yeah, well, look how small the case is. Right. That's impressive. I got to be honest, uh, retails at about 120 bucks. I picked it up for 90 um, on Amazon, actually. Amazon Sweden. They had it on sale. Was it Sweden? Yeah, they had okay. it on sale, so I grabbed yeah, one. Nice. All right, let me help you. Go for it. I love that it comes with a bag, actually. Like, you know, we love bags. We love bags. What I think is really funny is the material in the bag is, feels really nice, but I would have preferred to have a well, strap at, or something on it. too. That's kind of yeah, exactly. a like, little like, feel how Feel how nice that material is. Oh, it's like lined with something, too. Right, this would have been terrific if it had a, a real strap instead of one of these guys. Well, that's, that's Manfrotto for you. Yeah. Well, what we got in here? Allen key. Got some little goodies oh, in there. Oh yeah, it's for um, the hook for the, the counterbalance. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so there we go. Bag is there. Look at that. It's not a bad looking little tripod. That's. And this this weighs with this ball head on it a hundred, not one hundred, one point six five grams. No, one thousand six hundred and fifty grams. One point six five kilograms. Oh, dude. <laughs> 165 grams, 1.65 kilograms. No. <laughs> anyway, all right, so what we right. have here is, is again another inverted folding tripod. And this guy, he folds down to 100, not 100, now I'm really lost. 42.5 centimeters for packing. This is the smallest pack down. Yeah, I think it's, it's the, small, the smallest it's pack 40. down. Yeah, exactly, because the uh, three legged thing came in at 45. So 40. 2.5 is this guy for yeah, pack down. Which is really good. It is. Uh, take a look at the the grips on these. Yeah, the locks. They're actually... And, and the feet are actually really nice. They're actually really, they feel really smooth. Look at that. So this is a forged stage mm. tripod. Ooh. Like many yeah, of the this other... Is good. This, that's really nice. Yeah, like many of the other tripods we tried. They have a much different kind of locking mechanism than the other tripods. So you, you have two options for how, how far out the leg is. You can go lock it to here. You can see there's a little icon there. Mm. Or you can push it all the way to there. So you have two angles that you can lock it at, which yeah. is a little bit more limiting than some of the other tripods. Mm. But again... I mean, yeah, you can also do the... The whole way and just exactly. flip it all. You can do it all the way there, but yeah. you, you lose some of that stability because you mm. can't lock it further yeah. up, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So you only have two so, spots I mean, that's that you can good. lock it. What you can do with the, instead of having the articulating column to get yeah, put down, it upside down, you can put it upside down. It's also that it doesn't have uh, a, a, the ability to take the center column out either, mm. right? You, you can, but you'd actually have to get another attachment to put in there to be able to get the lower height. Yeah. Like the three-legged thing, we could just set it down, take out the center column. Is it stiff? It looks stiff. It's a little stiff. See, this is the lowest this can go unless you turn it upside down and invert it, yeah. right? So uh, you can kind of still achieve it, but then you got to flip your, flip your video in post or your picture in post. You. <laughs> How's that plate look? That looks plastic. This is probably the first one I've seen that is all plastic. Is it all except plastic? Except for this screw. This plastic everywhere, so on yeah. this tripod. That's one of the big downsides to this yeah, guy. I don't like the plastic 
uh, actually, it doesn't feel... Plastic here, plastic uh, here, plastic plate, plastic... But the head is... that's metal. Yeah, that's a ball head. That's but a normal ball head. First time I've ever seen them send out a plastic plate, but plastic anchor, you know, you, you wouldn't expect that to be able to hold in cold, cold weather, right? No. One thing, though, to consider, even though this is fairly cheaply made, it is super light to carry. Yeah. It packs down super light. It's a good option if you don't have a lot of uh, budget to spend on a tripod, and it will hold eight kilos, and that's 16 pounds almost of, of uh, weight. How is it, this, this grip here, if I hold it? Yeah. That's a problem, though. Look at that. that, right? that it's, it's not very... If you're going to okay. walk around and hold the grip, you're mm. you're going to end up having to hold the mm. whole thing. Might have to hold it like right? this or something. I don't know. So here's the thing, though. Yeah. Where this guy really shines, and this is, again, Manfrotto being at one of the top of the games for consumer tripods. It's a two-year warranty. And if you register the product, you get an extended eight-year warranty. That's 10 years. 10 years of warranty. So maybe this plastic isn't so bad. So again, yeah. You can just get a new one. <laughs> exactly. And Manfrotto is a good company, actually, to deal with with customer service. Yeah. We've dealt with them before. Yeah. Uh, but also a very big plus sign is that you could get it like you did under a hundred dollars exactly under a hundred dollars and it does compete it comes in side by side with all of the other tripods yeah uh in many 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 of the categories so Which you're nice you're not going to be a good chance this. of being the top one <laughs> it could actually, actually be one of the top yeah. carries again it's so light and <sighs> it is it, it does what you want it to do very good so we're going to take this out on a field test mm -hmm. and check it out and let you know what we think out in the field. How, how fidgety is it? How hard is it? But stay tuned for an upcoming video. We're going to do all of the travel tripods in competition. Yes. Right? It should be fun. Maybe don't miss even it. funny. Don't miss it. Yeah. Anyway, to the field test. Yeah. Let's go. All right. So now we're out. We're looking for something to take a picture of and some place to show this new elements Mark II tripod to you guys from Manfrotto. All right, let's go. So, now here we have the Manfrotto Elements Mark II. And again, I mean, this has been out for a little while, but in pursuit of a tripod that you can actually take with you on a long trip, a travel tripod, something that's easy to hike around with, I honestly didn't notice this in my backpack very much it, compared to other tripods that I've drug around through the forest. Again, we got these twist locks to extend the legs. Yeah, but I still don't like this little locking mechanism that they have here. Another annoying thing with the twist locks, by the way, is if you do them out of order, you, you might not be able to get the other one untwisted if it's spinning. Then you have to go back and lock the stage before it. So again, these little locks, they have two stages of locking. You can lock them a little wider open for the spread of the legs. The legs can spread like this or the legs can lock and spread like that. I mean, that's really great too if you need the extra stability. And I suppose if you're putting eight kilos on a little tiny tripod like this, you're gonna need that. Uh, again though, I prefer being able to have more than just two adjustments for where my legs are gonna be. Like I showed you guys with the three-legged thing, I could have it click out in many different spots and tighten up. Uh, not uh, Vanguard 2, I think, had multiple stages. Benro had multiple stages. So this is a disadvantage with this tripod. But, I mean, even though it's a disadvantage, you have to weigh out whether or not it's, a, it's an advantage overall having the lighter tripod. Like, some of the features of the bigger tripods or the other tripods, they're great. But compared to having to lug them around everywhere as if they're heavier, do I really need those features or can I make do? Uh, like we said, when, one thing you can kind of cheat the system a little bit 
if I wanted to get low to the ground without having the articulating head or being able to take out the center column altogether is I can just flip my camera around upside down. One thing I love about it, I love the grip. The rubber grip on it is excellent. I wish I had it on the three-legged thing the day I was out and it was freezing my hands off. But at the same time, the three-legged thing I think is a superior tripod, depending on what you're, what you're going for though. It's got the little anchor. Today I'm trying out the Peak Design Everyday version too. And that doesn't really hang on there very good. You can see that's, I wouldn't feel comfortable leaving all my camera gear stuck on that. I'd have to find something that's got more like of a flimsy strap to it. But to, to be honest, I would not mind having this tripod for a going around tripod. Sometimes I'm just like this, just out in the woods shooting and trying to find something nice to shoot and you don't really want to lug around everything. I got three kids and sometimes they're with me. And even then I don't want to lug a tripod around but sometimes you need to. We're gonna to try to take some nice macro shots here. All right, let's keep moving. So, look, you can see here, I can actually make this get a little bit lower to the ground. I could even go lower still to the ground, but then I wouldn't get the shot that I wanted out here. Of course, the camera's upside down. There's some annoyance to that. I gotta kinda of come down here and take the picture. I have a little button on the EOS R that makes this a little less annoying. Otherwise you have to fiddle with not shaking the tripod and the camera trying to work upside down but because of the articulating screen in the EOS R and the touch focus you can set it to actually take a picture where you touch. I can even put a timer on it so that I can touch it and then wait five seconds or two seconds and it will take the picture to avoid any shake whatsoever. Yeah there you have it. The Manfrotto Elements Mark II, it's not a bad tripod. It's very plasticky, so understand what you're buying, but not bad value for your money. If you have a little extra to spend, I'd probably go with the three-legged thing. But uh, if you're on a budget, or maybe this is your first time buying a travel tripod, and you're, you're not somebody who uses a tripod a lot, do more photography than video, this is perfect, right? Video tripods, they require a lot more stability to be able to pan and tilt and all that. This is perfect for photography. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we have lots of great shows coming up. Everything from audio to more backpacks and uh, lots of good tech tips. Thanks so much for watching. And yeah, I hope we see you next week. Mm -hmm.